Hey guys, this is uh, Vinny with um, this guide here, or more like a show off. This is my uh, Arduino. Um, right now I'm just running the uh, Arduino right now, just in testing phase. But once it's done, I'll be using this uh, Cdreno Mega with uh, a lot more pins. But right now the Arduino is uh, plugged up with an Ethernet shield right here. And as you can see, I have the uh, ground wire wired up, and um, no no power because the power is actually coming from a different source. But I have the seventh, eighth, and ninth pin in here, and uh, seven and eight is uh, wired up to these two LEDs, and the ninth pin is wired up to uh, this bed right here, and or kind of like a transistor. And uh, that's wired up to a uh, a solenoid triggered uh, lock plate. This lock plate will allow me to unlock and lock the door. And that's access to the home. Anyway, as for power, I am running a uh, 12 volt power coming from a uh, one of the brick over here into the. Uh, 12 volt line right here, and then uh, it's actually it says 12 volt, but it's actually pushing out about 15. So I have it uh, going through a inverter right here, input 12 to 16 volt, and output 12 volt. Um, that's made for cars, so it worked out pretty well. And then that uh, steady 12 volt is uh, input into the uh, the board's power, and then um, a uh, uh, voltage regulator. This is a 5 volt voltage regulator, and that regulate uh, the middle two lines as 5 volt, which is what is pow powering all the devices for the Arduino. When the Arduino is running, it won't be plugged into USB. It will actually be plugged into the 12 volt power, so it share a common ground with um, all all the vets and the relays and all that. But at right now, I'm just um, temporarily showing you guys that because I'm testing, so it's plugged into the USB. And um, so that's the uh, layout. Here is the actual uh, work. There's the uh, uh, PHP website with a uh, button. You can see lights here. Um, I can uh, see uh, locks and AC, which is not on. I'm just uh, showing you that it work and it's moving. You can uh, move back and forth between them. And uh, there's the light, which is uh, light 7 and light 8, and the toggle button. And it's at zero, which means it's off. And when I click the button, it turns the LED on right there. And then now I'm about to click the button again and it turns it off. And then I'm about to turn the other button on, and there it is, and off. And I can also do this with my phone. This is a uh, Droid X. Okay, it's low on battery, but whatever. Here's the website loaded. And as you can see, if you can see the LED right there, and there's the button, I click toggle, and it lights on. I'll go for lights off. And LED 7, lights on, and lights off. And here's the locking mechanism, which you can see I click on lock and it open lock. And when I press the button, you can hear the click. When you hear the click, it means the solenoid is triggered and the lock will open. But now it's locked again. And now it's locked. You click and it's open right there. And once it's closed, it locks it back. It, this is a uh, self locking, so it will open for a short amount of time and then it will lock back up. So here's me unlocking it. Click and then I open the door. I get in and it's, it stays open for two seconds, I believe. Or I can set it longer if I want. But that's the uh, the basic of it. 
I will also be integrating um, the ultrasonic sensors, a, uh, a couple of uh, um, these are uh, PIRs. Uh, what are they called? The infrared sensor, but for the area, uh, I can't remember what the PIRs stand for right now. And uh, tons of 12 volt relays to be pulling all kinds of stuff. Uh, motors and uh, all kinds of stuff. We'll also be using RFID tags to open doors. And uh, my RFID reader is attached to something right now. But that's the, uh, that's the, that's the run through. Thank you for watching.